Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about iPhones and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question I've been getting a lot lately. And that is how do you change the address on your autofill feature on your iPhone? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, it's gonna be a really quick video, actually not a lot of steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you wanna change the autofill address on your iPhone? Well, that's pretty easy. If you use your iPhone to do online shopping, or to fill out forms, a lot of times your iPhone can do an autofill and just complete the address that way you don't have to type it in each time. But maybe you moved addresses so the address is no longer current. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process and there's actually two steps. One, you're gonna have to go through your contacts in the phone app, and then two, you will need to go through the settings on your iPhone. So I'm gonna start off in the contacts tab. I'm gonna click here on the phone right now. Okay guys, I went ahead and clicked on my iPhone tab. Next, you want to click on your contacts, which is this button here on the bottom middle called contacts. Looks like it has a little person icon next to it right down here. Once you're there, it's going to show all the different contacts in your iPhone. But if you'd like to change the autofill address on your iPhone, you want to click on your card, which is usually at the top above the section A for your contacts. As you can see mine, it says my card. It has this little, looks like a kissing icon next to it. I'm going to click there now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and clicked there. Next, the screen's going to pop up and this is going to show all the different contact information like your email, your address, any kind of phone numbers that you have attached to your card. And if you look right here, it says home, which shows my mailing address right there. But if you would like to go ahead and change the autofill address on your iPhone, you wanna click right here and click edit. I'm gonna click here now. Okay guys, I went ahead and click there and, and what you wanna do is scroll down until you get to the address section. Uh, mine is listed home. You, can, you might have a work address also, but it doesn't really matter. Once you get to the address you would like to change, you can go ahead and delete the address and then add a new one in. Once you've done that, then you wanna click the blue done button here on the top right. I'm gonna click there now. Okay, now that the address has been updated, on my contact card for myself. What you wanna do is go to the settings app in your iPhone. Let me switch over there now. Okay guys, I went ahead and switched over to the settings app on my iPhone. It's the gray icon right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click there now. Okay, once you have clicked there, then what you wanna do if you wanna update the address on your autofill for your iPhone is scroll down until you get to Safari. And that's gonna be this icon right here. It's like a blue compass looking thing. I'm gonna click there now. Okay, once you click there, then if you'd like to go ahead and update the address for your iPhone autofill, you wanna click right here on this line called autofill. I'm gonna click there now. Okay, once you click there, you're gonna get this settings tab for your autofill function on your iPhone. And if you'd like to change the address, you wanna click on this line called my info. I'm gonna click there now. Okay, once you click there, then you're going to get this screen that's going to show all the different contacts in your iPhone. But if you'd like to update the address on your iPhone autofill, what you wanna do is go ahead and type your name in the search bar here at the top. Once you do that, then it's going to pull up your contact card. As you can see, mine says me right there. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on there. I'm gonna click there now. Okay, just a few seconds later, this screen pops back up and here next to my info, it should show your name, which was the name of your contact. So whatever address that you have attached to the contact you have in your phone book for yourself will now be used for the autofill feature on your iPhone. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to update your address for the iPhone autofill, that is the easiest way I know. If you happen to know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.